I wouldn't pitch to Correa. Here we go. First pitch to Correa is ripped out of right field line. Game walk off Correa, 6 5. That was the voice of Houston Astros radio announcer, Steve Sparks. Many Astros fans recognize the voice on the radio, but very few get a chance to sit down and get to know the man behind the microphone. Sparks began his tenure playing career on April 28, 1995, when he made his MLB debut for the Milwaukee Brewers. He would enjoy his best season in 2001 as a member of the Detroit Tigers. Sparks, the right-hander, serves again, and uh, there's a swing and a miss. He struck him out. Unlike a lot of guys, I wasn't ever really the best player growing up. Uh, had a lot of aspirations. Uh, I always, I think since I was about four years old, wanted to be a baseball player, and, and my mind was set on that, but uh, never was really the best, didn't have the, the best tools or anything like that. But Sparks never let that discourage him. He would be taken in the fifth round of the 1987 draft out of Sam Houston State University and then bounce around in the minors for eight years before getting his call up. I was 36 years old by, by the time I threw my first shutout in the major leagues and it was against a good Seattle Mariners team. There was something pretty funny that happened in that game. Uh, we had a first baseman at the time, Dusty Allen, who I knew a little bit before, but uh, we were teammates. Uh, he was our first baseman and he caught the last out of the game, the ninth inning. Uh, for the third out of the game, for the shutout, my first major league shutout, in foul territory by the stands, and just handed the ball off to, to one of the fans. <laughs> and everybody on our team is just going, oh my gosh, what are you doing? And he had a great quote, and it came out in the paper. He said, uh, how am I supposed to know this 40-year-old doesn't have a shutout yet? His playing career would come to a close in 2004, but his time in the broadcast booth was quickly approaching. My first year in the offseason, my wife met Bill Brown, who, who's a, a legendary broadcaster here in Houston, just retired last year, met his wife at a charity golf tournament. And she mentioned to my wife that they were looking for people to do pregame and postgame show analysis, and they needed a former player. So uh, we just kind of exchanged some numbers on, on maybe who to get in touch with. So Murphy Brown, who worked with Fox Sports at that time, uh, he and I had lunch together. The next day I was on TV. From the mound to the microphone, Sparks has grown accustomed to time in the spotlight. But there is more than just baseball in his life. My faith is, is the most important thing in my life, but my family has been married 28 years now. We're very thankful, baseball and the Astros and, and everything, to be able to do this. So we're fortunate, and we know we're fortunate. We've had good friends and family uh, that we were able to enjoy this. So we want to enjoy this together, you know, in our later.